Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be doing a live reaction to the last Nuka World trailer in which Bethesda actually only just released around about an hour ago. It actually features new footage and I'm going to try and analyze it as quick as I can as the gameplay is going on. So yeah, this will probably be the first time that you're actually watching this as it is brand new. So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's get into this. Let's have a little look-see. Our fans really want to be a Raider. We see the feedback, we mm -hmm. see the amazing cosplay our fans do. So we really want to do to that sister. they really want, and we think that they're really going to enjoy it. When you enter Nuka World, there's a, a sort of settlement where the Raiders are, but they don't have the whole park. So there's all these other lands mm. occupied by different monsters and enemies that you have to go in and take for the Raiders. Nuka Lurk, yes, it is a Nuka Lurk, guys, conquer, yeah. And then move your gangs into so that you can have Blue Ghoul with paint on it, territory. so there will be ghouls with Town paint USA, on. Which is where the Raiders are sort of living when you first get there. Nuka Galaxy, which is sort of like the future that they would envision in the Fallout universe. The we Nuka Girl spacesuit, that's is what that looked like. Town. Uh, we have Safari Adventure, which is like the zoo. The bottling plant, which is called the World of Refreshment, is sort which of like has a new tour of the bottling plant. We also have Kitty Kingdom, which is where all the kitty rides are. When you arrive there, you're put into position of being the what we call the overboss, which is sort of the ruler of all these gangs. So you're going to be the overboss. That's be pretty the cool. Bad guy to sort of be be the the guy raiding through the Commonwealth, <laughs> taking what they want. We don't necessarily nice beard, make dude. you the absolute most evil raider. You can actually be a you know like jokingly call a kind-hearted raider if there is so such you a can thing. be people kind be a raider they think you're going to do wholesale slaughter we actually took great pains to make sure that that wasn't a requirement oh, okay so you can choose if you want to be good or a bad raider okay own backstory so it lets you choose not just to be a raider but you know what kind you want to be the disciples are sort of your your classic very bloody very violent gang then you have the operators mm -hmm. and they're sort of your stealthy sort of come at you from the shadows a little more technologically oriented Raider gang, and then the pack, and they're just absolutely crazy. That's pretty we cool. Had, um, oh shit, those antler, that antler beanie, that is so the, cool. The different armor. The ones who are more bloodthirsty have more violent shapes and more rough edges, and the ones who are more clean cut and efficient have a more stylized look. So in the mm. end, your overboss should look totally different than some. Oh my on the god, screen. that fucking helmet! We have a nice new gun set in there that still has a Raider vibe, the handmade assault rifle. Then on top of that, we have. Uh, really fun new weapons like the paddle ball, which has a whole bunch of different attachment or mods that you can add. Spikes, you can have shocks, fire. Spikes, that's so cool. Oh my God, weaponized Nuka-Cola Quantum Ball. Like what the fuck? I have not seen that in the game said. yet. Then we have the uh, acid, acid soaker. soaker. So it is a super soaker, but it's acid. That's so down. cool. It's toxic acid that melts them. The thirst zapper, which is the uh, weapon that you saw in the uh, nuclear posters. You guys know. Posters, that you get early on in the add on. You can mod that as you discover the secrets of how they. Oh my god, it actually shoots lazy beams, beams, as I called it. I'd say that this is a great capper. Fucking glowing nuclear queen. So, as far as working on a, on a project of this duration, I think this was a nice way of saying, like, hey, it's time for a vacation now. You're going to this music. That's park, so you're also cool. Taking a break from saving people and rescuing settlements to sort of let your hair out. We've had a wonderful time making this add on, and we really think that everyone will enjoy it, and we can't wait till you get your hands on it. Well, thank you. It's going to be pretty awesome. Well, guys. Damn, that was pretty cool. We saw a bit of new footage there. We saw that there will be nuclear queens. They did have that kind of blue glow to them, so. That's definitely a nuclear queen. And then we saw some other kind of stuff. We saw how the, uh, the, the the actual gun that's in the game, that we now know is in the game, uh, can be weaponized to actually be not just a water gun. It can actually shoot Nuka-Cola quantum lazy beams. Lazy beams. Uh, but yeah, um, pretty awesome. Again, this is only just a little kind of teaser trailer kind of thing. It's not really a big trailer. But I thought that I would actually finish off tradition with the last official DLC trailer of this game and you know what I have loved every minute of reacting to these and I definitely cannot wait for you know the future generations of Elder Scrolls and the future generations of Fallout to again report on all this kind of stuff guys. Uh, anyway lots of Nuka World videos coming out for you tonight make sure that you do stay up and watch them and uh, yeah I hope that you enjoyed the DLC and until next time I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! <laughs>
I'm going to be showing you all of the new creatures that you can find in the new Nuka World DLC. There are a couple of old friends who are retaining.